Hello friends, this is Rupesh and I'm watching CPP Nerds video series on C++ MCQ questions and this MCQ question is about a threading MCQ question and this is number 2 and I didn't have much time so I'm giving this MCQ video today and these days I'm explaining threading so this video is about threading I mean this MCQ is about threading I'll check your knowledge on threading and I may surprise you if you are not much into the threading and all okay so let's see if you can answer for this question so pause the video and try to understand what is happening here and if you happen to find that problems solution let me know in the comment section so wait for some time you'll get the answer so one two three four five i think you would have come up with the answers so let's check out whether there is some problem in this code or not so first let's compile this so if i just simply compile this it has compiled successfully so compilation error is not there if i'll execute it there is no problem in this code but wait a minute don't go anywhere there is a problem in this code and i'm going to explain that to you can you see the locking order is reversed first thread okay let's start from the beginning so we have thread one and thread two thread one thread two functions are different so these two will start parallelly and thread one will try to lock mutex m1 and thread two will try to lock mutex two and then thread 2 will try to lock mutex 1 and thread 1 will try to lock mutex 2. Can you see this and recall there was some problem called deadlock? Yes, this is a deadlock situation here. I'll explain you what deadlock is and why this is a deadlock situation. Let's assume this T1 and T2 started. So this is thread axis, this is thread and this is time the possibility is as we are starting these two threads at the same time the possibility is not at one second let's suppose a uh, unit is microseconds this one is one microsecond two microsecond and three microseconds so at one microsecond these two threads were able to lock mutex m1 and this one was able to lock mutex2 so here you have m2 locked and here you have m1 locked now at this stage there is no issue because m1 was not locked yet and here m2 was not locked okay so and let's suppose at second microseconds both are trying to lock i mean this one t1 is trying to lock m2 and this one is trying to lock m1 so m2 was locked already by thread 2 and m1 was locked by thread 1 and you know this if you want to lock and if it is already locked you will wait so this thread will wait and similarly this thread 2 will also wait because m1 is locked before so this is one of the example of deadlock deadlock means let's suppose there are two resources deadlock cannot come in single resource and there are two processes so this process want to have this while this process is holding this resource okay so this is a resource and this is process this p1 want this resource while it is holding this resource so it's like two boys asking that you give me your chocolate and then only I will give my chocolate and another boy is also telling the same thing if you will give my chocolate sorry if you will give your chocolate I will give my chocolate correct then there is a deadlock no one is gonna give chocolate to each other and the same situation is coming here and if I will run this you may not see the problem here because our processor is very much fast that this particular condition may arise in thousand times or it may arrive at first attempt also but there is a situation I mean there is a possibility that it may not come in even one million times okay but this can come and if your system whatever system you have designed is not deadlock proof then this is not a good system and if I want to show you the deadlock what I have to do is I have to put a weight in between this one and this one 
so you can see that it was not failing it was perfectly fine code if i'll run this see i'm running it so many time but still it is not blocking okay there is no deadlock it is exit successfully okay but if I, you want to see the deadlock let me include this like this okay if i'll compile this compile successfully see if i executed it see my cursor is actually waiting here let me just kill this and clear the console and re-execute it see it is waiting i mean system is inside deadlock it is not going to come outside so let's see what is happening here thread 1 thread 2 started parallelly thread 1 logged mutex m1 and went for sleep thread 2 logged mutex and went for sleep then both wake up and asking for each other's mutex okay and this is not going to happen before i was not applying this then in that case it was not coming as a deadlock but it is a deadlock because our computer is so fast that whenever it was acquiring the lock of this mutex m1 at the same time it was able to lock this m2 and thread 2 was not even started by that time or vice versa if thread 2 started first then thread 2 was able to lock mutex and after that it was able to lock mutex m1 and thread 1 was not started by that time as this thread 2 have locked both and let's suppose thread 1 is actually reaching here once this thread 2 have both the locks successfully then thread 1 will wait here there is no problem and once this unlock will happen it will get the lock and will do the job but the situation is when thread 1 reaches to m1 and when thread 2 reaches to m2 and locked and then just after that thread 2 is also looking for this i mean executing the second statement and thread 1 is also executing the second statement then in that case it will be the problem otherwise it is not the problem okay so the solution to this problem is you should not change the order of your mutex lock there won't be any issue if you have this like this there is no possibility of deadlock here because either of this thread will happen to log mutex m1 and if thread 2 logged mutex m1 thread 1 cannot and if thread 1 cannot it will wait here and by that time thread 2 will lock mutex m2 and will do the job and lock these two and then it will wake up and do the job so there is no situation that it can have a deadlock here let me just place that again i mean that weight and it, we can see that see i'll put the weight here again and i'll put the weight here and we can compile this see it is still in the deadlock situation see so that is what the deadlock is my goodness change this one and change this one recompile execute this see no issue even if you are sleeping there is no problem so thanks for watching and if you like the video don't forget to hit the like button guys and make sure you subscribe to my channel so that you can get the notifications for upcoming videos like this i'll see you in the next videos bye bye